Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last time we discussed the possibility that the souls in hell regain their bodies after the final judgment, and this time, what about the virtues? What happens to them in the afterlife? Of course, it's easy enough to say that the souls in hell are deprived of all good things, and therefore don't have any virtues, because virtues are good. However, why can't they just do what we do, and become more virtuous through good deeds, prayer, and practice? The short answer is that in order to even want to do any of those things, you've got to have the grace of God. The grace of God, however, is a good thing, so those in hell don't have access to it. There are also good reasons to think that the state of the soul in heaven or hell isn't able to change for other reasons as well, that the soul itself moves into a timeless state once it reaches either of those destinations, and timeless beings can't change, ever. That would be the typical position of Catholic theology, that the time needed to acquire grace is only present in this life and in purgatory. Once a soul is in hell or heaven, they can't acquire or lose grace anymore. Therefore, the virtues that you have, or lack, in the afterlife will be the same forever. Next time, what will happen to the virtues in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.